Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons. Where in our previous episode, our adventurers all found their way to a cave where they found a bunch of images on cave walls as well as statues of seemingly important figures who might be gods or goddesses, demigods, something like that. They weren't able to figure it out. They found some ruins that they could not interpret. They seemed to be a very old type of celestial, so old that they couldn't interpret it. Even though he speaks Spanish. <laughs> and uh, then Farron and Ryan went into one of the rooms in that cave and found that they almost knew entirely where to go. They knew two different di directions they could go. One seemed to be northwest of the cave, one seemed to be north and maybe a little bit east of the cave. Seemingly to almost eight or something. Uh, we left off where Farron and I think Lazarus were wanting to go towards what they assume is the depths from what they heard from Fazmir, the Firbolg. Uh, and then Blaze was wanting to go towards Ite so he could change back to a tabaxi if he can find the wizard. And we're kind of in this limbo area where I personally have no idea where this is going. So you guys have a bunch of choices of where you could go. Uh, you guys do know that Eols will probably be the next place that the Fardana will attack, which is where Tony's family is from, and to where to I mean where uh, Aelrindal's <laughs> family and his family are from. So you guys have a lot of roads you could take right now. So what would you guys like to do right now? You're still in this cave, about to depart in whichever direction you guys feel like going. Bersa! Bersa, hey! I want to go to this wizard man so I can fix this vaccine I've got going on. That's tough. I sound like I've put back about three packs already today. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember what direction you told me I had to go? Was it northeast? Uh, yeah, so you felt like a uh, darkness, but uh, like a true direction to the northwest. Okay. And that's where Fazmir had said that the uh, another entrance to the depths was. You also found a somewhat, a little bit of a lighter sense going mm -hmm. towards the northeast, towards where you, you're pretty sure Eit is. Actually, where you know Eit is, because mm -hmm. I think you guys mm -hmm. went there and transported <clears throat> back through Farron's transportation zone that he found in this cave. Uh, <laughs> I think we should go to the wizard. I think we should go to you. That's actually that's, my that's next just, step. That's like not the wizard, and then you. Yeah, but Artemis is heading there. I know, but like, Heights totally on the way, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Eel's even on this map. Yeah, it's it's way oh, on yeah. the bottom. Yeah. See, if we go to Ice, we can just then go to Eel. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you guys, I'm <laughs> suffering mentally. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lazarus, I mean, uh, Aelrindal, I always, for some reason, mess up your yeah. guys' two names, but yeah, uh, Aelrindal, you know that the Shardana, or at least Artemis, is in Shun right now, and he's been there for a couple of days already. Okay. You're behind the or a day, maybe. Okay. Listen, we don't really need to go back to the depths right away. Do we? I thought we were gonna go fight a dragon. Yeah, I'm actually 100% not behind that. <laughs> <laughs> I have fists and like a few daggers. I'm not fighting no. I'm not fighting a dragon, man. If we leave this dragon alone, it'll attack more people. Mm -hmm. Who says that? <laughs> this random Fazmir. druid we Logic. ran into. Logic. Logic. Is he a that. druid? Yes. Uh, this dragon seems like it'll attack anyone who he comes across. He killed my entire village. Why are we gonna go across the dragon? If he kill kills everyone who goes across If he them? kills any more people, that's on our conscience. No, it's not. I didn't know about this. I'm already forgetting it. <laughs> <laughs> you know now. <laughs> <laughs> Is no, that a I threat? Don't, I don't remember anything. Please. Well, I'm going to hide. <laughs> Rolls of forget. Listen, listen. This dragon could make our adventures later down the road a lot worse if we don't take care of it now. It yes. may come back to bite us in the ass. I say we just deal with it later there, when it comes across. Zerikos will also say, yeah, but I thought we were going to Ait. See, Z-Man says we should go to Ait. 
I agree with you. I've got Zerathrust. Zerathrust is not logical. We were crushed IP4. <laughs> and then we just appeared here. <laughs> okay, do you see that face? There's the face of a logical man. Exactly! He's saying we should go to Eight! That's and he's illogical, so don't listen to him. Oh, we should go illogical. fight this dragon. Vasimir, you're... I don't even know who you are. We need to go to Eight. Thank you, Z-Man. <laughs> No, we need to fight this dragon. This Shut dragon is going to kill everyone that all of us know. All right. We're going to eat. All right, all right. Look, we're <laughs> not getting anywhere like this. Gage argues with himself. <laughs> we're going to put it up to a vote. A vote? All in favor of going to the dragon, raise your hand. My vote counts too. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm say I. Uh, uh, Stockholm. Xerathos will say, should we put all the options... At the table, we yeah. can drop that these two like off at height of and then proceed to the depths. I'm not comfortable with splitting up again. <laughs> Turned into a giant mess that lasted three episodes. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? Sorry, that was a super meta. Ta- intelligent saving throw. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> what is this? That's, spicy. That's meta game for you. Oh yeah, boy. Uh, <laughs> what kind of dice is that? <laughs> it's huge, yeah, right? Nothing happens. It's like a jawbreaker. Okay. Listen, okay, here's the deal. We can either... First option is go to Ait. There's several things we can do. Ait, we can find this wizard. Why is that the first option? No, I'm just laying them out. This is the all first right. one on my mind. Okay, so we can go oh, to Ait. Well, I'm just thinking you're being a little selfish, that's all. Can I finish? Hey. <laughs> okay, we can either go to Ait. We can go further in, further in the mountains to fight this dragon. Yes. We can follow our lead from this temple that you suddenly started feeling. <laughs> or we can go to Eel... And confront this guy, or we can find the depths. I feel like Eol is out. It's a bad <laughs> oh, vote. It definitely is not. We will not. That is my vote. Look how far away it is. We won't make it. We need to stop Artemis as soon as we can. He's not even there. He's been vacating. He's, he's, he's headed in there. I thought he was in Shun. Remember the last he time we tried stopping Artemis? Yeah, you literally died. This time I can't die. <laughs> no, I do. I'll just come back. You know, I don't think that's entirely true. No, it is. <laughs> Listen, man, we can't fight Artemis. We can't fight a dragon. You know who might be able to help us fight a dragon? A wizard? What's this? Wizard? I <laughs> Also, I have a performance in Ait in like two days, so I think we should go to Ait. Shut up. <laughs> Seems like you're pretty interested. Oh, because we kept about you. Phasmir, what do you think? Should we get this wizard first? Would he help? I mean, if the wizard's powerful, he could help us fight the dragon, but that again might take some time. Who knows where the wizard is? As He's if in we the need mountains any near help. Ait. There are lots of mountains near Ait. That makes a good point. Alright. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been stuck in this shitty little body with a mouth hand for days now. Well, this dragon killed my entire village. My friends, my mother, my father, my grandparents, I, my... Exactly! I tend to sympathize more. Those know. are all your friends. <laughs> the point is, you have a lot to lose. I have... I'm sorry, you have nothing to lose. I have a lot to lose. He's on a suicide mission. We're level five! <laughs> roll, roll. <laughs> uh, 24. Yeah, you're fine. Wow. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, being meta. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to see what happens now. Yeah. Listen, you guys, let's, please, let's go to I, I would. I've been crying to myself to sleep the last few nights. I can't do this anymore, man. It's messing with me. So I think, <coughs> I think we need to head to you. All right, and that's it, it. That's this, it. That's it. We're gonna we're gonna make a vote. I agree with Fair. Let's make a vote. Hold on. Who has the walkie talkies? I have one. Why do you have one? I, I have one. I don't... Do you know. They're the ones connected the to the king. Of the yeah, yeah. Yeah. King Ulysses. Yeah, that's Ulysses. right. Yeah, I have one speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All those in favor... For when we hit rock bottom. <laughs> All those in favor of encountering... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Rolling the children safe, though. <laughs> All those in favor... You also hear the uh, drums of comedic timing yeah. after Zach's, after Lazarus <laughs> said that. What was that? <laughs> anyway, all those in favor of fighting a dragon. Aye. 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 
I get two votes because I'm a cleric. Uh, Listen, if my you deity backs me. If you guys are going to fight a dragon, I'm just going to leave. I I've got to go to Ike. I have to go to Ike. Why can't we go to Ike first, resupply, and then fight the dragon? We're, running, we're wasting time out. doing that. We How have no supplies. We don't know where this dragon is. We don't Ike? know where it's next like move here. is. Exactly, which means we should get as much supplies yeah, as possible before delving into the mountains. They end have to. By the time we get the supplies. The dragon could be attacking. How far away are the mountains? I was cool, thinking. if he comes to us, that means we don't have to go looking uh, for him. It means he's going to us. To the north of where you are now, or uh, west of I probably. <coughs> That's where uh, Fasmir thinks it is. Okay. Listen, the more time we waste, the more time Artemis has to kill more people oh. and steal them down into the depths. You know I my say, thing, though? He's not killing people. He's just kidnapping. <laughs> oh, God damn it. All right, look. Well, no, he tried to fight him one-on-one. <laughs> of course he's going to die. an insight check, please. <gasps> so, I'm sorry, what is happening? ka oh. <laughs> Uh, six. That was six. six. Nat six, sorry. That's, there's a nap. Okay. Okay, yeah, you have, <laughs> you have, you have <laughs> an extra insight on this conversation. Mm, okay. Mm. Do I have insight? <laughs> This is something specific yeah, I know. to him. Um, Can I insight? Fazmir, <laughs> do you do you know how to send a, a raven with a letter or a message? So, do you know? How yes, to? I do. All right. Well, here's what we can do. Farron, f- fuck. Fazmir <laughs> <laughs> can go. He can scope out the dragon. When he gets word of his movements, he can send a raven to us. We can go to the town, do your resupply, and fix you up. Uh, that way, at least we stay informed. Thank you. Going to Ike is a good idea. We can get all the supplies. We can get more weapons. We can get more food. We can fix me. <laughs> Z-Man can go to his performance. I don't care about Z-Man. Me uh, neither, but <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, we've been traveling with you for a few weeks now, but thanks. His preparations are useful, but <laughs> that's it. Nothing else. And then Casper will say... Yeah, so I'll just go all on my alone self again, like I have been for the last two weeks. Sounds good, man. The last two months. I'm gonna wow. cast Charm Person on Fazmir. You are so I'm gonna pat him man. on the shoulder. Look, man, you're strong. You can do <laughs> you this. You are a sad. You don't need anyone else right now. What's the safety seat? Oh, 15. What are you casting? <laughs> got a Charm 17. Person. 16 plus. Whatever. Five, you know, whatever. Were you trying to cast him? Charm person. Just oh, he knows you, know. you are trying to cast a spell on me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. friends. Wait, no, does he know that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, I have a. We traveled together. Look, I'm gonna <laughs> slam my other. <laughs> You're wearing my bear pelt. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, look here. I'm gonna put my hand on his other shoulder. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna cast charm person again. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it is fine. Oh, you're right, actually. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, yeah, it's all right. You're sending word to us. The second we get you in danger, we'll make our way there. Yeah, like that, that sounds like a you great be, plan to me. I'm, I'm glad you came up with that plan. Of course you are. <laughs> it will be okay. Would you like another pair of <laughs> um, I have a question, Gage. Yeah. Uh, how far can I use my destination dagger? Like, away from it? Uh, and is it just it, and it's only just me, right? Yeah, it would be fifty feet. Okay. Okay, cool. He's gonna run for the feet of time. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think if he like tossed something and left it there, I he could probably teleport there after traveling a while. So like if you tossed it at a tree, then you kept on traveling on the road, you could just end up you could decide to just go back to the tree. So, okay. It's a pretty fucking good item. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay. This, all I wanted to know. So we're in agreement, though. We're going to go to Ike first, and then fight this dragon. I think yes. it's time. Yes. Sounds like a great plan to me. Sounds like a great plan to me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we can't fight Artemis. We're going to show up and do nothing. Watch him kidnap a bunch of people, kill you again. <laughs> You'll come back to life on the ship. <laughs> Throw back a bottle of wine and be like, we go to ball. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and you wouldn't have all of your magic weapons. Second time's a charm. Huh? You wouldn't have all your magic weapons after that either. Ooh, Shazam. We can't fight Artemis unprepared. 
Man, Fazmir, look, I you're pretty much done with feet. this conversation. There's nothing more you <laughs> need to know. I marbles. think so, yeah. I'm going to say and you get on your way no and find out this information about the dragon. I will go on my way and try to find this information about the dragon. Good. And he leaves. You should have asked him to give you some money or something. I was going to, but it doesn't really fit. All right, let's 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 head out then, you guys. There's no reason to stay here any longer. Hi. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah, we'll go. All right. I'll walk. I'll leave. We're gonna <laughs> make our way back to the cart and then to Ait. Okay. Yeah. God damn. How far away is Ait? About a day's yeah. travel, maybe a day and a half. See, it's not even that far out of the way. I thought the wizard wasn't even in Ait. I thought he was in the mountains. Yeah, he's in the mountains near Ait, like where yeah. we are now, right? So why are we going to Ait? Uh, some are probably uh, from what you heard from the Lord from Lord Gumshot in uh, Huria. He was to the north of Ait, like in the mountains near Ait, but to the north. Yeah. So if we go to Ait, and the north will be there. Yeah, and you could probably like get better information of where exactly while you're night. Yeah, exactly. So, plus, I, we'll go to I, we can resupply, we can get stuff. Sell stuff that we don't need. Like Clayton. <coughs> oh, sorry. Who's Clayton? Yeah. Roll intelligence. You got you. Yes. <laughs> so I wasn't in character. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make our way there. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you keep, you travel down this mountainside, and you do notice the footprints from Farron before, as you walk down beforehand, and you make your way back the road, and you see the footprints of both him and Phasmir, as well as you and your horses, as you had gone there before, and your carriage, and you travel, 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 and eventually it's, it does start to snow a bit. It doesn't seem to be a huge blizzard or anything, but you do you notice it starts to get a bit colder and snow has come down? I'm going to be practicing hot cross buns on my flute. <laughs> <laughs> Roll performance. <laughs> Let's see if you can actually play the flute. Oof. I got a three. <laughs> uh, so, for about the first two hours that you are trying, no sound comes out of the flute at all. And then, after, like, after the first two hours, you finally get the first note, but it's a, just a super loud and annoying screech. And you see that Lovecraft's ears just perk up and his tail goes down behind his legs. And he's like looking around like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Lovecraft is ready to go down. His hair is all sticking up. What is that racket? It's nothing to worry your little head about. Better than X Men. Eventually, Zarathos is like, Would you like some lessons, my friend? It seems like you could use a little bit of help. I know how to play the flute, it's just <laughs> this flute's broken. <laughs> <laughs> I can try and fix it for you. Can I see it? I'll try and help. I could try to fix it too. <laughs> I think I'm by, fine by myself. Okay. Well, if you need help, just ask. I've been thinking about tinkering them on some stuff. Give me something to do during all these long trips. I kind of pretend to fix it, but I'm, I'm like carving cool. little <laughs> decorations into the side. <laughs> I'm going to read my books. Sure, those doesn't notice that. Uh, is there anything anyone else wants to do while on the road here? I'm going to go over everything I wrote and drew in that cave and just think on it, see if I can come up with any ideas. Okay. I'm gonna drink. <laughs> Do you wanna talk? No. Uh, Blaze, roll an intelligence uh, check. We so bone, bro? Uh, 16. 16. Uh, so after a while of looking over notes again and again and again and again, maybe looking at the coins that. Farron had or something like that. Mm. You eventually do see a couple of similarities to, to a few of the others and you're pretty sure you know uh, what they are. And they seem similar enough to Celestial that you think they're the same. But it's not enough to actually understand exactly all of the mm. words or any of the words, really. Okay. Besides the every once in a while, like, ah uh, or the, maybe. Okay, I'll keep working on that. Okay. Making progress, that's something. (laughs) 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 
Well, that's what I'll do the whole trip there, the whole day's okay. travels. I'm just going to yeah. go over my notes. Yeah, so, uh, roll one more intelligence check. Oof, six. Uh, yeah, so you're not uh, able to make much more progress than what you kind of just found in the first few hours. Okay. But you do believe that maybe with enough time you could figure it out, or maybe with some more information or something like that, you would easily be able to figure it out. Okay. Uh, is there anything else anyone wants to do while traveling? Um, I'm mostly just going to be scouting ahead, paying attention to the woods. I'll probably go a little ahead of everyone else. Okay. Uh, just roll a either perception or investigation. Okay. All right. I can do that. Sure. <laughs> Man, I'm that can be done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and follow him stealthily. Because... Like dwarf wearing plate armor. Yeah, I, it's mithril, so mithril. I don't have disadvantage. Hey! Oh no! That's a natural eight. No, it's not. (laughs) (laughs) Do a name drop. (laughs) Natural eight! (laughs) Come at you. Uh, Besides the few animals you see just prancing in the woods, like deer, maybe a bear once, an owl bear, maybe way far off, maybe hearing a few hoots or something, you don't really see anything out of the ordinary. in the Ooh. woods or in front okay. of you. <laughs> and you're trying to just, like yeah. stealthily. I just do. remember the time I was trying to follow him before and okay. screwed it up. So yeah, just roll that stealth check. Nine. <laughs> yeah. So <coughs> when you're up front scouting ahead, you do hear the footsteps of what you can only assume is Ryan behind you. Clank 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 clank. Fuck! Clank 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 clank. What fuck? Fucking right in the room behind. You know, part of me kind of wants to toss a fireball at you. <laughs> Why? I'm just relieving myself. I oh. just think it'd be entertaining. <laughs> Why are you following me? I'm. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just walking this way. Really? So yeah. it's just you and me out this far ahead. Yeah. Because you're clanging your boots on the ground. Well, I was obviously not trying to stealth because I'm not very stealthy. Can't you. argue with that. <laughs> Ironically, you were. <laughs> Fair enough. Fine. I have no. I can't argue that point. But since we're here now, why don't we just travel together for a while? Are you into weird stuff. I should. I'm. What? I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm gonna walk by him and just pat him on the shoulder. I'm gonna go back to the group now. Ooh. You can. All right. Join me. I'm glad we trust each other. <laughs> All right. Okay, is there anything <laughs> else anyone wants to do while traveling? Uh, I think we're good, right? Tony, what are you doing? I'm just drinking in the cart. Okay. There's no cart. I thought we had the cart. You, said the, you the parked cart. the cart out near Ike and then oh, used the transportation right. zone. Yeah, Never so mind right. then. I shall drink and walk. <laughs> <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> With fun. <laughs> I'm going to keep a sharp eye on Farron, though. Okay. Never know when he's going to flitter away in a Hello. burst of flames again. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to keep two sharp eyes on Farron. <laughs> I'm going to keep I'm gonna three, three sharp, sharp eyes. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I hold a gun to his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I accept. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Farron, oh. what's your passive perception? Oh. Good question, my good Gonzalez. It's... <laughs> Um, Eleven. Eleven? You don't know it's that these guys seem to be keeping an eye on you. Okay. Good to know. Not good to know, but good. We <laughs> could uh, sing a song to pass the time. Zerthos immediately just starts... 99 dancing. bottles of beer on the wall! <laughs> 99 <laughs> bottles of beer! Tony smashes you take one down, just... you pass it around! 98 bottles of beer on the wall! <laughs> <laughs> And we made it to I Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, with enough time, uh, the sun's starting to go down. Clouds have just passed over. You can't see any stars at all right now. But you do see uh, what you assume is the city of Ait a bit far in front of you. Like, you see fires from bonfires or from keeping buildings warm and stuff like that. And then eventually, once you're close enough, you do find your horse and the carriage, and you do see that both the horses have 
uh, dried blood on the hooves, and there's dried blood and a few puddles like <laughs> around in the snow nearby. I mean, um, uh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna approach. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna approach and start looking around, looking like uh, through the blood. I'm like, what is happening here? Okay, uh, roll either investigation or insight. Eight for investigation. Uh, you think that this blood might be theirs? You're not sure. I check the horses. You don't find any major cuts or anything from their, from anything on them. Someone give me a hand. I'm trying to find out where this blood's coming from. It's from their hooves. <laughs> 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 yeah, but uh, I, why would their hooves be bleeding all of a sudden? We've left them here alone. You want me to roll for anything? Sure. Uh, either inside or investigation. I will as well. Is that a one dungeon? Ooh. <laughs> Nat one. Nat one. I got seven. <laughs> Nat <Hey>. seven. <laughs> Our horses killed uh, someone. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, Ryan, you're almost positive this is the horse's blood. Oh, it's the horse's blood. And then, no worries. you're not sure whose blood this could be. You don't think it's the horse's okay, blood. I'm going to cast be. cure There's wounds the on the chance. horses. <laughs> 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 Safe bet. I uh, cast cure wounds on the horses and they just seem to raise in spirit and don't seem as tired as before. They don't seem hungry or anything. Like when you first saw them, they were just grazing. Maybe had half tired eyes. But now they don't at all. Good job. Lovely. Problem, Problem solved. solved. Their, uh, <laughs> their tails are wagging. I'm going to cast Ray of Frost at uh, cover up the blood on the ground. Because <laughs> I don't care. <clears throat> Can I search to see if the blood leads anywhere? Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Sure. But, I'm just uh, covering up the uh, medium area. Yeah. That's a double one. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, so you do find that the blood. <clears throat> there's one kind of bigger pool at one point, and then it, then it starts to move away with footprints, and there's blood in the footprints every once in a while, and then it just stops bleeding, but you do see footprints continue off. Towards eight. Towards eight? Yeah. Okay. It looks like there's some kind of altercation here, and they headed off towards eight. Eight. <laughs> All right, <I'm> stop. <laughs> that bloody person, people heading to eight. Maybe we can come across them when we get there. And then finish them off. There's a bunch of blood around our cart. I'm going to look for anything missing, actually. <laughs> Do we even have anything <laughs> in the cart? The culprit. I don't think so. No. Uh, just throw an investigation. <laughs> Nine. Uh, nine. You're pretty sure nothing's missing. All right, we should be fine. Why do you guys still on about this? <laughs> <laughs> it was just the horses. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I hop up the cart and I'm gonna. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Fine. Whatever. Just get in. And I'll, I'll drive us down there then. Keep your eyes out for any bloody people though. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> uh. Fucking dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. No, you rolled a one in your investigation. You don't hear shit. Yeah, I can still hear you talk. <laughs> okay, but yeah, no, I'm gonna... Like, yeah. Let's head on down. Yeah, so you make your way to the gates, and the gate is closed right now, but you do see a guard just standing watch just behind the gate. By the way, when I get on the cart, I, seem, I sit near the exit. <laughs> uh, when we get up there, I'm just gonna call it to the guard, uh, and I'll be like, "Hey, we're just <laughs> you see in. any bloody people?" <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ask him. Yeah, uh, we found a bunch of blood up there. There were some footprints heading here. Did you see anyone come by earlier? Uh, yeah, about maybe four or five hours ago, a couple of men who looked kind of worse for wear, as if they had been in a fight or something, and the and weren't well off. Do you know where they went? Uh, they just entered right. I'm not sure where they went after that. They could be in danger or a danger, so... How many men did you say? Uh, just two of them. <coughs> what's your What's your name? My name is Alan. Alright, I uh, write that down in my book. Okay. <laughs> is that your hit list, or...? <laughs> I made sure he notices that I write it down. How do you spell that? <laughs> okay, Alan, uh, we're just heading into height right now. Uh, can you let us through? Uh, what is your business? <laughs> also, what are you? <laughs> we're, uh... I'm looking dumb. Uh, <laughs> looking for a wizard, actually. He's pretty uh, famous around here. He's up near by the mountains. We're going to try and get some more information. 
Before I hit him back up, look for him. Uh, I don't actually know of any, like, major wizards here. Like, there are a few people who cast magic who might be wizards, but I don't know of any famous ones. But if you go around town, you might be able to find something. Bad, and we're here to resupply, so... Uh, yeah, sure, come in, come in. I don't see anything wrong with you guys, so... <laughs> By the way, your horses seem a bit <laughs> nutty. Yet. Might want to get that checked out. Oh no, I took care of it, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> also, for the record, I'm sitting right next to Aylrandell in the cart, just in case he tries to jump out again. <laughs> what race is he? <laughs> uh, he's a... elf. He's... Mm. No. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And he kind of motions towards the guard tower, and then the gate starts to move up. I t- you guys are able to go through. I tip my hood, which is still covering my face, and I say, Thank you! Have a good night! Don't cause any troubles. <laughs> oh, right. You're a really friendly person! <laughs> uh, just, <laughs> that was a terrible use of grammar. We don't cause any troubles. We won't cause any trouble, is what you. <laughs> will Baron, let's Anyways, not we will not cause any trouble. <laughs> Let's not antagonize the guard. Is that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later, Alan. <laughs> I'm gonna skip, skip. The horse is onward. Uh, what do you guys want to go first? Should we just find your place, this place of staying, like a nice inn, get a room checked in, and then explore? So as you enter these gates, the first building you see on your right, there's also one to the left, are two uh, places, two stables each. And then a bit further on, you do see a couple inns. You see a bar pretty close. You see uh, a couple of supplies, shores, stores, not shores. And then up more, you see that it starts again to like residential buildings, homes, and stuff like that. And just from the layout that you see here, and I think Blaze has been to IT before when you were uh, trained to be a monk. You do know that the more inside is for uh, homes and res- <coughs> residential buildings and like the out- outskirts of the town are for uh, like pretty much any commercial building. So inns, good stores, fortune teller, any other kind of source really at all. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get us a room in the inn. Do you guys want to share? Split two rooms? I'll take my own room. Can you pay for your own room? Yes. All right, cool. (laughs) I only need to rest about four hours, so... I know, but you still need a room. (laughs) I'll just sleep in someone's for four hours in the house. (laughs) Go about my business. Tips out. I'll worry about the the rooms later. I want to find the scum that was hanging around our uh, cart. You do that. I'm going to get us some rooms. I do need money. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I actually don't have any money, so I can't take that duty. <laughs> You've been a night before, right? Oh, wait, no, I have 60 gold. Okay, no, I'm going to go get us some rooms. I okay. do need money. <laughs> so, first off, you do see two inns, one on pretty much each side. They seem to be competing inns. One is the All Inn, and the other is the... Uh, out and in. <laughs> yeah, out and in. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and do you do recognize Outenden? Because that is another, like, it's a chain in. in yeah, the inner chain. Out. Yeah. Outenden. I, I think we should go in all in. Oh, it's Outenden. Because if it's in and out, then it's in and then out. Whereas if well, it's yeah, the out it end, if it's out end in, then it can be out end in. Idiot. Uh, <laughs> and plus, I think that's what I said was in the last two towns. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm gonna that's go to all in. Yeah, and uh, I'm just gonna get us three. Uh, 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 I don't know. I walk in and I'm like, Hey, how many people can you fit in a room? <laughs> and I walk up to the front. Uh, so once you walk in, you notice that the lady at the counter is asleep. And then when you say this in your screeching voice, we kind she kind of just jumps up. I like I like the fact that I want it to be known that Redderkin is small, like an abyssal wretch is small. So I don't even quite reach the top of the. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna, like, get up on my toes and like, get over. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> or I'll use my mouth hand. I'll use my mouth hand. Hey, watch out! 
I need rooms, baby. <laughs> yeah, so for me doing this, it scares her even more than I said initially, because she doesn't see you. All she sees is a hand that's speaking, <laughs> and it's like a grotesque hand, and it's a screeching voice, so she just jumps out of her chair, and then it falls back, and she, like, falls back on the ground, and oh, then God. she jumps up, and it's like... Hey, hey, down here! Calm down! Oh. Calm down! Hey, oh my god! Oh, uh, hello! Hello! Uh, sorry about that, I didn't expect anyone <coughs> at these hours. Don't Especially worry. if you're kind. Sorry about that, Don't I didn't worry. Every time that. I look at a puddle of water or a moon, it's the same reaction. <laughs> <laughs> what, what time of night is it? Yeah, what time is it's it? It's like really late at night, so yeah. like maybe like 2 a.m. Uh, I'll be quiet, I'm role playing. <laughs> uh, what, what can I do for you? Uh, how many rooms do you need? How many people can fit in one room? <laughs> I most people end up having like two to two to room. Sometimes families have like four to room. I got six people to take care of. <laughs> uh, so really like three rooms? How much for a room? Uh, it will be five. Uh, five silver per room. Five silver room. Okay, I'll get uh, three room. Three rooms, please. <laughs> Okay, so I'm scared. Oh, are, you doing, are you doing that with your mouth? <laughs> no, 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 no. she's looking down at me. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'll give her 15 silver. Okay. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Uh, here's three keys. They're on the second floor. Okay. Room 212, 213, and 218. <laughs> That's a weird jump, but okay. Uh, do you know of any... Uh, oh, I'm probably going to settle in for the night. Do you know of any, like, magic shops or apothecaries? I wasn't a night. Listen, man. It's working. Uh, yeah. The, uh, there's uh, like there's one wizard in town. Well, actually, I don't think he's in town anymore, but he's Stop. a pretty powerful one, <coughs> and he his apprentice is still in town. He's in the northwest side. He I think is? they were running some experiments. Wizard may be gone now. I'm not sure where where he went. Where exactly? Is the mountains. Uh, apprentice, you said? Uh, the northwest side. There should be a. Uh, it should be, uh, there should be a sign that's, like, for wizard experimentation or something like that. Right next to the Burger King. All of the windows are, like, blacked out and you can't see through them, so it's pretty impossible to not notice, so, yeah, it's there. All right, thank you very much. Uh, the rest of my friends should be joining shortly. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to settle in. Uh, thank you. What's your name? <coughs> my name is Elise. Thank you, Elise. I really appreciate that. Sorry for freaking out. No uh, also, can I get a uh, name for either y y you and your party or your the people who sleep in here? Oh, Just for insurance uh, reasons? The expendables. No. <laughs> so... I took all the letters from our uh, name, like the first letters. Did you do this last time? Yeah. yeah. Did I mention all of them? Yeah, you mentioned all of them. Did, Did we decide on one? I don't know. So. No. He just said them. There's not a lot of good ones. <laughs> nice. That's like everything he uh, says. Flower, <laughs> blarf, or barful. <laughs> That's all you got. <laughs> <laughs> Those three. Yeah. <laughs> this is the only one three I could come up with. I see anyway. why we ignored him. <laughs> what, what 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 fits our group? We're like we're we're a motley crew, right? We're not gonna call ourselves motley crew. No, we're Yo, I, I know, but something along the lines of like motley crew, adventuring league, Monty Python, <laughs> <laughs> extreme adventuring league, alpha gamers, extreme adventuring or EA sports. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the game. <laughs> uh, it's in the out of DLC. Okay, but seriously, what would be a good one, you guys? Epic. Uh, uh, a team. No. I mean, like, I've asked this the last, like... Yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah. Make, like, a legit Four one. recording uh, sessions. We need one that, like, that actually... Turn out. That actually fits us. League of Extraordinary <laughs> Adventures. Gentlemen. Adventures. We're not ripping off legit <laughs> media things. Team Alpha Super Awesome Cool Dynamite Wolf Squadron. <laughs> Isn't that from Shrek? Yeah. <laughs> Shrek 3. The Swampers. What's okay. Swampers? I don't know. We just. Uh, you could just give her names. No, no, no. no, no, no. Let's, let's, <laughs> this is the moment. This is it. This is the time. This is the time this for is to time. decide. Uh, There's no time like the moment. present. Uh. 
Why is this so hard? <laughs> Joe's bar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't come with an original <laughs> idea, can you? Yeah. We should be the Adventuring Mary League. Man. We could be. We could be the Merry Men. We could be the Adventuring League, the League of Adventures. No, this is basic. We can upgrade later. We can't change your name once we've decided. Well, yeah, any inn we go to will ask for insurance reasons. We can just change it there. <laughs> we do want to build up notoriety, though. Why don't we just keep changing it all the time? Yeah. We haven't actually found one yet. The Living Detective Agency. That was a different campaign. <laughs> yeah, there was a dead detective in that one. Okay. <laughs> I'm that just going to say uh, the Adventure League. The Adventure League. Oh, uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. You guys don't have a better idea. I don't have a worse idea either. <laughs> <laughs> if you give out some names, then maybe we won't choose the Adventuring League. We're the Motley League. <laughs> Motley League. Okay, uh, Motley League. Okay, uh, <laughs> and there are six of you. Uh, there's actually five, but we also have a bard named Zarathos. Okay. Oh, Zarathos. Yeah, he's performing some somewhere here in, in town tomorrow yeah. night. Dog or whatever it is. Lovecraft? Okay. He'll yeah. just stay outside with the horses. <laughs> Such love. Well, why would I. What the hell? You guys were going to bring a wolf Did you into make a Monty game? sleep outside? Uh, Monty was like a two feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> he was a wolf. He was also overweight and blind. Leave <laughs> my dog alone. He's dead. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so here are your keys. Uh, if you need anything, feel free to come down here and ask. Oh, I should be here for the next few hours until my shift <laughs> changes. Hopefully I'm not asleep again. Ah, the if I am, just wake me up. The graveyard uh -huh. shift is the worst. Yes. I totally understand yeah. it. Uh, Elise, was it? You're not here. You it said you were going to go. Oh. <laughs> you told me yourself you were not going to the inn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yes, I win. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so she had to see the keys. Okay, I'm just gonna go up to the room really quick. Okay, I'll wait for them to get back. <coughs> yeah, so you go up the stairs into uh, which room are you going to do? I have two thirteen, two fourteen, and two eighteen. No. <laughs> two one two two one three two one eight. Yeah, two one two two one two. I two, think. Two, one, two thirteen two eighteen. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go to two eighteen. I bet that's wrong. That's fine. <laughs> I think it was like two. There's definitely no, two, two, 12, thirteen, 12, two thirteen and definitely two eight. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's uh, definitely two. Sweet. I'm gonna go to two. I got something right for once. What's that feel like? Yeah, I'm gonna go to two. <laughs> I'm gonna go to two eighteen and start uh, just crying again. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, so you enter this room and there's two large beds in this room and it seems cozy. There's a small fireplace and a chimney. This uh this. Inn is only two floors, you're on the second floor, so chimney just goes up and let's eat out. Uh, it's a comfy room, like, there's not much you could really complain about, you don't see any rodents or anything, <coughs> the bed is made. Uh, there's, you don't see any uh, feathers or anything from the bed on the ground or anything, so it's just a nice room. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for them to come back then. Okay. Where, where'd everybody, where'd we go? So, I thought we were all with you. Zach was, or Lazarus was wanting to see if he could find the bloody dude. Yeah. Oh. Or did anyone come in with me? I would have, I think I would have gone in with Okay. Farron, did you come in with us? Mm-hmm. Did you come with us at Uh, yeah. I don't think I would have gone for the blood and the horses, so. <laughs> I mean, it was just the horses, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lazarus went off on his own to look for bloodied up men. <laughs> yeah, uh, Zarathos was going to the hotel, too. Okay. Well, he can't stay with me. Alright, I, uh... I would like to bunk with Farron. Uh... No. I... <laughs> too bad! No. I'm bunking with you. I'll set what? the room on fire. <laughs> we only got He's... three rooms! Uh... I'll set it on fire. <laughs> I'm willing to take that risk! <laughs> okay. The last time we left you alone, you disappeared. Oi. The room will be on fire. Oi! Ryan was dreaming with them. I. Well, you didn't very keep a close eye on him, did you? I was asleep. <laughs> also, he doesn't know what happened either. Also, I want a room with Farron. Why well, you want a room with Farron? You got a crush on him? 
Why'd you have to make this <laughs> weird? <laughs> you were falling around the whole time. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Everyone saw you. <laughs> Listen, let's let's sh- <laughs> let's shoot the elephant in the room. <laughs> you can't just Yo, disappear. Wait, what the fuck's like, an elephant? <laughs> okay. our, our elephant's <laughs> yeah, our elephant's yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Our cannon, okay. Some they're from the old continent. Anyway, Baron, you disappeared for several days. No one has heard from you. You show up with little details. You can't blame me for being suspicious. Especially when you refuse to bunk with us. Alright, you wanna know what happened? I would love to know what happened. I passed out. I woke up. Where did you wake up? On a mountain. In a car <laughs> On the mountain Put my heads back Everything else was burned to charcoal around me And I walked down the mountain And I went down a dangerous path I nearly died I found the cave I explored the cave I left the cave <laughs> Wow, it took Gage like a whole episode to say that <laughs> <laughs> I found a man He asked me to slay a dragon I said yes because I was around no one else but him Why'd you wake up in a with everything burnt around you. I don't know. Has that happened before? Yes. I wasn't expecting you to be something. <laughs> no. Why, why is this happening to you? I don't know. Is there anything else you should tell us? No. <laughs> Are you, is he hiding? Is he being? Can I insight him? <laughs> Are you, you like you're trying to deceive him here? In the gaming journal. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, inside. Can I too? I rolled a sixteen. Roll a deception. You're so screwed, boy. <laughs> I- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, that was a nineteen. <laughs> there was a that one. That was a one. <laughs> Uh, Blaze, you're positive that he's lying. Yeah. You think there's more to the story. We're trying to help each other. If you tell me the truth, if you're honest with me, I can help you. Bartender, a lady. Are you still, still in the lobby? Yep. Yes, yes. Uh, what can I do for you? For you? Um, yes, I would like a room to myself. What's your finest room? You uh, can't the- just avoid it. Uh, the finest room would be uh, two two zero. Watch me. It's the very one on the very end. It's the corner room. There's a lot more space. Penthouse. There are uh, two uh, very large beds, bigger than the other beds here. It's mostly for people who want extra comfort, and the well walls are se- soundproof. Is it well secured? Yes. Uh, it comes with two locks. Wait, wait, wait. The walls are soundproof. Yes. All right. I will get the room. How much? Uh, I will be one gold piece. One gold piece. Easy. Done. I'll give you two. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I live on these steps, so thank you. Catches, you must have someone guarding the door. <laughs> uh, Aaron, uh, we're not going to attack uh, you. Shh. I'm talking. Yeah, uh, I can get my... Uh, uh, wh- <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll try to... I'll get my... The Come person who's going to take the next shift you know to what? come here and I can guard the door myself. Just allow me to have someone guard the door. Sure. Okay, sure. good. Who's the toughest looking person here? Uh, Unfortunately, all of them are asleep right now. <coughs> who's the like toughest three. looking person here? It's me. Uh, there's a man on the first floor. He's a goliath. Uh, he's got like a huge sword with him. Uh, his eyes are like red. I've okay, never thank seen you. Them that red, they're really scary. He scared me when he started talking. About He's them. coming his way. <laughs> He's <right>. getting closer. <laughs> I'm gonna sprint out to the room right now, okay. and I'm just gonna bang on the door. Okay. <laughs> I follow Farron, going like, Farron, why are you doing this? Shh, I'm in conversation. You're not. You're banging on the door. Shh. Uh, you bang on the door a few times, and then after about a minute, it opens slowly, and you see. <laughs> Uh, you see the body of a huge Goliath. He's not wearing a shirt right now because he was asleep before. Still you don't even see his head because it's above the door. And you just hear, Can I help you? I'm going to put my arm on his shoulder and go, Hello, friend! <laughs> Cast Charm Person. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's 15? 15. He failed. <laughs> 
How would you like to make ten gold pieces? You know what? I do. I do whatever you want for five. Oh, you know what? <laughs> five. Wonderful. I need you to guard my room for me. Sounds good. Okay. And he just walks back, grabs his sword, which is like uh, three meters in length. Holy fuck. And he doesn't even yeah. bother putting armor on or anything. Is it he, just, he just walks <laughs> in, just out in the nude, just three yeah. <laughs> <laughs> meters sword. I'm going to walk by everyone. Dude, you got Ganondorf on your side. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to walk by everyone. No one's bunking with me. Understood? You can't run from your problems. <laughs> You're not bunking with me. And I'm going to continue to my room. Okay. And I'm going to go in that room, and I'm going to lock it up, and he's going to stay outside and guard yeah. the door. Yeah, that happens. Good. And when you look at this guy, you notice that his eyes, like the pupils, are blood red. Oh, and, I'm going to uh, He's bald. <laughs> his head is extremely shiny for some reason. This is Dr. Phil. <laughs> It's really possible for you to go more than 10 seconds without making a meme reference. (laughs) You see that his canine teeth seem extra sharp. Oh my god. He has no facial hair, but he does have a couple of tattoos on his uh, biceps as well as on his stomach that he noticed before. Alright, I'm gonna try and. um, And half of his right ear is chopped off. Oh, Jesus. Did you just make that up? Yeah. Okay, in my room, in my soundproof locked up room. Yeah. Can, do I know any way of channeling those dark forces that were speaking to me? Uh, like, Can I try anything? <laughs> Which dark forces? <laughs> like, voices that I've heard, those visions that I have. Is there any way I can channel into that energy? Like, not the ones <laughs> while you were in the cave? Isn't that not those, thinking? uh... Whatever that voice is that keeps talking to me, the thing that seems to be connected to so me, any way I can channel that energy and, and find out more. Roll an Incana, Arcana check. 14. 14, that 14. <laughs> 10 plus 4. <laughs> you believe that if you know the demon or devil who you made a deal with, if you knew his name... You could probably channel something. So this truly is a deal with the. I don't remember. Do I remember his name? Do I have any guess name? Name drop. Uh, in your backstory, you never said anything, but I'll have you roll a history check. Okay, let's write my backstory. Uh, this is cool. Oh, snap, son. Uh, Nat 13. 13. I hate you. You believe that his name started with an S. S. That's all you remember. Summer S- S- Shadow the Hedgehog. S- <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's <Okay>. sake, Tony. <laughs> like three minutes without me. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna spend. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna spend my night trying to figure this out, figure out a name, and learn more. Of it. So, are the rest of us just left in the lobby now? Yep. I'm pretty right. pissed. So, <laughs> so, so, I'm gonna. Okay. Like, all right, guys. Uh, up until now, I could really have cared less what happened. But that was really suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more suspicious than dodging questions and randomly hiring a brute to protect your door for no reason. Which is soundproof, by the way. We don't know what the fuck he's doing in there. How long does charm person ask for? It's an hour. Yeah, an hour. It's an hour. Uh, but I could use always extended spell and make it last two. Would I know that? That charm person only lasts. Like Were you there when he charmed him? Well, yeah, I know about ran. Arcana, so... Were you there when he turned him? Well, he, you, he said he ran out. Yeah, he was following so, okay. uh, yeah, so him. So I'll be rolling either an Arcana check or an Insight che- check. Probably Arcana. Uh, 20. Not math. Not math. It seems to you that this Goliath has been charmed. All right. Uh, I'm going to sit down across from the Goliath, and I'm going to wait... Charm person fades. <laughs> uh, some of the Goliath does say, "You're not. You're not getting through this door." You're right. I'm not getting through it for the next two hours. <laughs> you won't be getting through this door. Not even gonna lift a finger to try. <laughs> you will not get through this door. You're absolutely correct. Exactly. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? My name Bogart. is 
<laughs> My name is Ori. Oh. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ori. It's not nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> he told you to pass the door and not be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to pull up my notebooks again I'm, I'm, as I wait for Trump person to fade. I'm going to go through those runes again. Okay. Uh, just throw in one more intelligence check. Are we... <coughs> Did you go up? No, yeah, I'm, I'm going to bed. Yeah, you're having a tough time getting any further at this right. point. That's you fine. do think you need more information or more ruins in order to figure more out. Okay. Well, I'm just going to wait for Trumpers to wear off. Okay. Alright. Mm. I'm going to go to bed. Just feeling slightly put out that Farron didn't want to bond with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be very quiet. But also very excited because I love big beds. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who was I fucking with you? big beds and I cannot. <laughs> since there's a room where no one is staying anymore since Farron left, I'll take that one. Okay. Z Man staying with you. Well, no, there's six people, two rooms, so one person three stays, rooms, two rooms. three rooms, yeah. Yeah. two person per room. Yeah. We originally, one person that was got six Pharaohs and yeah. one thirst. person got to the, gets their own room. Yeah, so I'll just stay in my own room since I'm just waiting anyway. Do you want your own room? <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> I'll take the whole, I would like to work alone, I'm not going to sleep tonight. Oh, then you don't even need the room. <laughs> well, this, I'm going to be up working at the desk. Do you want me to, do you want to stay out here with the light on all day? All night, sir? I only need to sleep for four hours, so. <laughs> 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 so the whole part of it. Aaron does his, like, creeps around one. the doorway. <laughs> one, I don't trust Aaron as far as I can throw him in this form. I can't even pick him up. Second of all, I'm worried about Lazarus. He just walked off the room with the people, so I'm going to wait for him to oh, go yeah, back. Go back to you. <laughs> and I'm going to wait for Charm Person to fade, so you guys can go to bed. I'm going to wait here in this hallway. <laughs> So who's fucking with you? <laughs> I'm in my own room. Uh, yeah. I guess I can... I'll take one with Ryan. I'll sleep my four hey, hours. Hey, say it again. Say my name. Ryan. One syllable. It's well, not Ryan. 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 Anyway, so anyway, I'll I'm go going to, to bed. Lazarus. Uh, so you're looking around to see if we can find any traces of the bloody person? Yeah. Or bloody people? I'll try and find blood on the ground or anything like that. Uh, you can either roll a survival check or an investigation check. Survival okay. for tracking, investigation for finding some, th- some traces. I got a 12 what? for survival. Uh, would... Uh, Wolfie Boy, I forgot his name right Lovecraft. now. Lovecraft. Be Wolfie you. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure, I'll bring him along in case I find, like, any scraps. Okay. Uh, so you rolled a 12? Yeah. Uh, you have a, you're not able to find any blood that seems out of place. Uh, so you don't... You're not able to find any traces of anyone who may, who was bloody who may have passed through here recently. Okay. Um, I'll go to the out and in, and I'll ask the innkeep if he's seen any uh, people come in that looks kind of worse for wear. Okay. Uh, this is a man, a dwarf to be specific, and again, he's asleep at the table because it's like 2 or 3 a.m. at this point. I open up the door and Lovecraft's following me, and I'll kind of stomp my way towards the the counter. Uh, yeah, so when he stomp, he, you see him kind of get startled a little bit, tries not to show it much, he didn't notice that he does seem startled, and then he greets you as in, uh, hello there, uh, sorry I must have dozed off, uh, can I get to your room? Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, I need information. Uh, what would you like to know? Well, I hope I can help out. Has there been anyone that has uh, rented a room that seems very worse for wear, bloody and ragged? You know, I got a bunch of my stuff stolen and I was wondering if they uh, happened to stay here. Uh, was this recently? A couple hours ago. Uh, no one's come here within the last few hours who was bloody or anything, but I, before I, I guess, doze off, I didn't notice a few... A couple, uh, a 
Elfand, I think he was a. I think he was a. He might have been an elf too, maybe a half elf. They walked past, seemed to be going. I think it was north through the town. Are there any uh, apothecaries to the north? Any uh, medicine practitioners? Uh, yeah, there's two. One to the northeast, one to the northwest. The one to the northwest is health and you. And the one to the northeast is solving all your problems. Thank you. I'll toss him a copper coin and immediately walk out. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, have a good night. Uh, if you need somewhere to stay, feel free to come back. And I'll give you room. Okay, well, I'll make my way towards the northeast one. Okay. Try to find any more clues along the way. Uh, roll another either survival or investigation. 26 survival. You do happen to find blood marks on one of the walls as you turn to another road. Uh. Ooh. And as Lovecraft sniffs, sniffs them, he, they seem familiar to him. Okay. Does it seem somewhat fresh? Uh, draw another survival check. Do I know the blood type? <laughs> <laughs> I got an 11. You'd say within the last few hours. Okay. Uh, I'll ask, go to Lovecraft and I'll be like, Hey boy, can you uh, follow the scent? Do you know where they are? He nods his head and wags his tail and is super excited and then he sniffs it and starts bounding forwards. Okay, I'll follow him. Uh, he bounds forwards th th through this street, then left, then right, then forwards again. And this goes on for about five minutes and then he starts to, he goes up to a door and starts kind of clawing at it and sniffing it. Okay. I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace on myself so okay. I have better stealth. And I don't leave any trails behind. Yeah. And uh, I'll kind of tell Lovecraft to stay back a little bit. And I'll... Is there any windows on this place? Yeah, so there are two windows in the front. One window on the right and left side. And no windows in the back, you see. Okay. Well, there's uh, two windows on the back, but it's, it's the second story. I'll uh, look through some of the side windows, see if I can see anything. Okay, uh, from what you see, it's just all dark. You don't see any signs of light of any kind. Okay. So it's difficult to see actually through to see much further, even with your dark vision. Okay. Um, I'm going to try climbing up to the second story at the back. Okay. Well, actually, no. I'll, I'll test the windows on the first story, see if any of them are locked. Um, uh, roll a percentage check. Uh, so three quarters of them are, them are locked, so one is unlocked. Okay. I'll try jamming it open. Okay. Uh, quietly or? Very quietly. Okay, roll <laughs> a slide of hand check. Or stealth, either works. Actually, slide of hand. Slide of hand? I got a seven. Uh, as you open, you open this window a little bit, and then you hear a hoot from behind you, and it kind of startles you, and it uh, slams closed, okay. making quite a bit of noise. I'll kind of sit still for a minute, try and listen, see if I hear any rustling. Uh, you don't notice any rustling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll attempt to open the window again. Okay, uh, just roll another sleight of hand. Uh, 15. Yeah, you're easily op able to open this window fully, and you're able to do it at a, t at a time where you don't seem, to, where there doesn't seem to be any wind okay. coming in. Perfect. So I'm going to, uh, I have a walking staff on myself, so I'm gonna, like, prop open the window with that. Okay. So I have an escape route. Yeah, you're able to do that. And I'll sneak in. Okay, uh, just roll a stealth check. Biggest check you need to worry about. Do you have your plus 10 too? Yeah, so, uh, 34. Yeah, so... <laughs> 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 uh, fuck. Okay. 
uh, fuck, I was wanting to do, uh, do the, like, Christmas Carol, not, like, uh, oh, no, uh, nothing was stirring, not even a mouse. <laughs> I couldn't figure, I couldn't remember the rest of it, though, I wish I had, because I would have just said that, but, whatever. Anyways, uh, so you're super <laughs> quiet, nothing, no one notices anything, and you're creeping through this house. Okay. Uh, what do I see on the first floor? Uh, roll an investigation. That's an eight, seven. Uh, this seems to be like any other house. So there's a kitchen, a living room. Uh, there's like a uh front doorway, and there's a cellar and storage room. And then you do see stairs going upwards. And do you assume that going upwards is where the Bedroom. where bedrooms are? Okay. Um, I don't even know if they stole anything from us. Is it thing? <laughs> so I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> um, I'm gonna sneak my way upstairs. Okay. Making my way down. At the very least, I'll try and get a look at them so I can keep an eye out for them later. Okay. Yeah. So you sneak up these stairs and you see that there are four doors. One. Or two on each side. Actually, five or two on each side, one at the end of the hall. Okay. The first one on your right is open, and as you look in, you see that it seems like a storage room for maybe any of their weapons or supplies or anything they might use if they travel. Then you look on the room on the left, the door is closed, and the uh, next door on the left and right are closed. The one at the end of the hall is closed. Okay. Uh, do I notice anything of value in the storage room? Uh, you notice a few swords, a few shields, some arrows, uh, a few saddles for horses. Uh, some of these items seem to not... It, it almost seems like none of these were from the were bought at the same place. All different makes and everything? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll check the first door on the left. Uh, stealthily open it, see if I can... Does it have a, like a keyhole? Nope. Okay, yeah, I'll just open the door. Yeah, so as you open the door, you do see that it's a bedroom, but no one is sleeping in it. You could probably assume this is like a bedroom for any guests. Okay. So there's like a bed that's made, but no one's in it. There's a closet, a wardrobe, and a small desk, but that's really all. I'll just close the door again and okay. move on to the next left-hand door. Uh, this one, you notice is locked. Okay. I'll leave it for now, and I'll check the right-hand door. Notice this one is locked, too. Okay. That's four. Roll well, a uh, perception check. Ooh. I got a five. You don't hear anything coming from other rooms. Okay. I'll check the door on the end of the hall. This one is unlocked. Uh, I'll see what's inside. Uh, inside you find... Uh, inside this, this room, it seems to be a room where... People would probably just hang out and maybe well, there's a, a bar in this room. Yeah, just a den. A lot of alcohol. It seems like a den, yes. Uh, you see a dartboard on one of the walls as well as a few uh, images that, like paintings and a mirror on one wall as well. Okay. As well above... Uh, w Above a desk in this room, you see two swords like cross over each other. I'll investigate the swords. Okay. Uh, you see on the blades of each of these swords, th swords there's an inscription on each. One is... Uh, one inscription is... Slight. And the other is... Death. I mean, do they seem pretty valuable? 
Uh, they seem to be of really good make. Uh, roll an investigation check. Eleven. Uh, you're not sure if there's anything magical per se about these swords. You're not sure if there isn't something magical about these swords. They do seem like well-crafted sword swords. Okay. And they're both long swords. Hmm. I'm going to go grab the blanket from the guest room and wrap the two swords up in that. And okay. Kind of put it in my pack. Okay. Yeah, you're able to do that, and since he got such a high stealth roll before, it's totally fine. Okay. Uh, Farron, you were trying to figure out if you could summon this demon <coughs> or devil, right? Now I'm just trying to channel the energy of becoming whatever I was. Okay. Uh, let's see, what kind of a roll would that be? But I'm trying to do this in a way that I know it's happening, so I can try and understand it more. Okay. And learn. Because uh, Farron's getting upset. Roll a history check to see if we can like remember exactly how this happened or what caused it and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Eight. Eight? Eight. Uh, you, you're not really able to make any progress on figuring this out. Okay. You do realize that your charm person spell could end any minute. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna bar the door, the door though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start barring the door. Put a put a chair underneath the chair underneath heavy things against beside it. Okay, uh, a few minutes later you do hear the stomping like the loud stomping of someone walking away and please if you're still in front of the door you see that the Goliath is just Shaking his head like he's not sure what it... Well, actually, he does know he's been charmed, but he's too tired right now to give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> so he just stomps toward, back towards his room. Have a good night! Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 20 foot <laughs> Fucking Goliaths. <laughs> Dude. He, he still just makes his way. He's too tired to deal with it. Oh, I thought he was gone. I didn't know yeah. from the <laughs> door. Uh, I'm going to try the door. Uh, you do notice it's locked. Oh. Two locks! <laughs> Can I try to pick them? Uh, do you have thieves tools? Never mind. <laughs> uh, that's fine. I'm going to head back down to the lobby anyway and see if Lazarus is back. He hey. just sat there for two hours till the Goliath walked away and then left. <laughs> Were you keeping guard on the Goliath? <laughs> I was trying to see if I get an afterwards or whatever. Plus, I, I had mentioned before I was waiting for Lazarus, too. Yeah, so I'll go back to you, Lazarus. Since okay. uh, both Aelrondal and Draenei are just sleeping, Yo, right? Yeah. yeah. Pass the fuck out. Yeah. Also, hearing the I slept for my four leave, hours. I'm going to unbar the door. And okay. just leave the chair in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is still locked, though. Yeah. Yeah. Chip for extra measure. Uh, so, Lazarus. Well, since I don't know what I'm dealing with behind these doors, and I can't lockpick them, mm -hmm. I'm going to do another sweep downstairs, see if I find any uh, pictures or anything to give me a, a hint. Yeah. Maybe some uh, like cloaks or something hanging up. So, in the den, you did see pictures on the walls, and two of them seemed to be of men. One was a six-foot-tall elf with, like, golden hair and bright green eyes. Okay. And the other, from in further investigation, you're able to tell that it's a half-elf, who is about five and a half feet tall, with blue eyes and dark black hair tied into a bun, with a, a staff on his back. I'm actually going to pocket those two pictures. Okay. And then I'm going to head back the way I came. Okay. Leave out the window and head back towards the inn. Yeah, so you make your way to the inn, you walk in, and Blaze, you see him now. Hey, did you find those guys? I dropped the two portraits. I'm like, where's my room? 
What is these? Where'd you get these? I'm, I'm tired, man. Just give me my room. <laughs> uh, I'll give him his key then. Okay. And I'll, I'll walk off. Zarathos should be Johnny. Or Zarathos went to bed, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you're in the one with Zarathos. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'm not going to learn anything from this guy, so I'm going to pick up these portraits and uh, I'll say goodnight to Elise and I'll go to bed as well. Good night. Have a good sleep. Uh, if you want food in the morning, feel free to come down. We can probably arrange something. <laughs> what a nice lady. I love Elise. <laughs> uh, Dude is Elise hot. <laughs> I mean, at this point, not really. You're having a very tough time actually figuring anything out. Okay, I'm just going to start chucking shit around and breaking it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what you do know is oh, the finest that two times that... <laughs> Like the three times that that kind of thing has happened have been almost exactly the same. The only difference is this last time you had a blackout and were with three other people this time. Yeah. One was the devil who you've seen before. The other was Kilobul Kyle, and the third was uh, Artemis. Yeah. That was the first time you've ever had that kind of image. Okay. And um, do you believe do you believe there's a relation of some kind? Is there a mirror here? Yes. I'm gonna stare hardcore into the mirror. Okay. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> Why are you the way that you I'm are? Gonna, you know what? I'm gonna turn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow out all the candles, but one. I'm gonna put one candle by the mirror. I'm just gonna stare into the mirror. I'm just gonna really try and channel dark energy. <laughs> Shine the light. On still? Yeah. It was permanently on. Uh, like starting a metal band. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a d20 for me. You want some, you want some face paint? <laughs> oh. That's just an 8. 8? If I'm not adding anything, that's just an 8. Uh, after about 5 minutes of doing this just very intently and intensely into this mirror, you do notice that it seems darker all around. And then that kind of goes back to normal a few seconds after. We're going to continue to stare into this mirror. And it's that's working. where we leave off on this episode of Nat 20. Oh, Hot dog. Potatoes. I'm not I just realized it's mirror.